Growing up, both of my parents were super involved in the teams that we played on. They sacrificed a lot of their evenings, weekends and summer to make sure that my brother and I would play in whatever games that we wanted to play in. I'm Lourdes Laney, I'm 30 years old. I'm in Leinster Cricket Club here, which is where I first started off playing cricket and I currently captain the Irish women's cricket team. My dad is probably the biggest influence in why I started the game and, and why I still play. He's always on hand to give me throws or to look through any of my footage or just someone that I can speak to and to have someone that has a sound knowledge of the game but also knows me incredibly well and, and how I work is a brilliant support. It's physically demanding as is any sport I suppose. I had a hamstring injury that I picked up and it ruled me out of the first round of the ICC Championship that was at home here in Ireland against South Africa. Quite often it can be a lonely spot to be in because you're used to a huge network with your teammates to then finding yourself in the gym, doing your rehab program. Working with our sports psychologist made me focus on things that I can control and, and areas of my game that I don't always need to be physically involved with. I think it's a massive commitment and sacrifice and I don't think it's just for professional athletes, I think for amateur athletes that are playing sport at any high level you have to dedicate so much time and you miss out on whether it's a family wedding or a family occasion or it's a friend's wedding, you miss out on a lot of life events. But then on the flip side of that you also get to go and play in World Cups and qualifying events and ultimately that's what it's all about when you're involved. There have been lots of changes within the game. I suppose going back to when I first started, we didn't have a full-time coach and we didn't have a lot of the resources that we have now. Sarasat have been brilliant in trying to increase the visibility of the women's game and create more exposure around the game. And the more that we're out there, hopefully the more people will get to know us and they'll be more invested in us as a team and our performances. When I finish my career, I would like to be known for someone who helped create a good culture within our team, not only to be one of the most successful Irish women's captain, but to help grow the sport within Ireland. I love training and playing alongside the players that I'm doing so with at the moment, and it's a huge honour and privilege for me to lead them.